Have you seen just from your research that, you know, by a certain age, this is when people hit certain stages? Yeah, so I've been trying to think about that with respect to the book quite a bit. And uh, generally, um, when people are kind of right out of college, I really start the book closer to 25 because I think you're just kind of trying to, you know, enjoy those first years out of school and, and so forth. And then what I'd like to see is people over the first few years of their career focus on not having oppressive debt, building up liquidity, getting through the launch phase. If you can enter the independence phase at age 30, then that 35-year time horizon, this book mathematically proves that you will be on track. Uh, you have to stress test your own assumptions for what you think with return, but using very conservative return assumptions, you can be on track if you enter it by uh, 30 years old for the independence phase. Mm -hmm. So that next phase is, you're going to start to enter that when you cross about two times. So hopefully that's like around 35, mm -hmm. and then maybe you're starting to kind of get to that you know, five times and greater, which is when you're getting into that equilibrium zone as you're getting closer to 40. But during your 30s, a lot of times people are really trying to balance life. I want to enjoy life. I want to live in a great house. I want to pay down my student debt. I want to be saving for the future. And so as, as money comes in, how do we prioritize enjoying life, saving for the future, paying down debt? I mean, that's a big tug of war. And so that 30s, you're, most people will find that they're somewhere between launch, independence, or entering freedom you need to have a comprehensive plan in order to reduce anxiety during those critical years in life.